In this video, I am going to introduce you to this language model query language or LMQL. LMQL enables the developers to interact with large language models or LLMs. LMQL allows you to easily and efficiently query language models and retrieve the information you need. With LMQL, you can specify the input text, the output format, and the model you want to use, all in a single query. This makes it really easy to integrate LLMs into your own applications and workflows. With this, you can get the most out of these powerful language models. Additionally, LMQL provides a standardized way of interacting with LLMs, which makes it simplified for developers and data scientists to collaborate and share their work. One useful thing about this LMQL, which I have found out, that it can actually reduce the cost of using language models by shortening API calls to the model. That's really huge because language models can typically are typically very large neural networks and practical inference demands high computational cost and significant latency. So you can get a build shock from LLM by simply doing these API calls, but using this LMQL can certainly help because you can control what you are going to ask from LLMs. Now, let me show you a few of the examples how you can use this LMQL. There are two ways you can start using it. First, you can use it in their own playground and I will show you how and I will drop the link to this website which is lmql.ai in video's description. Another way is that you can locally install it and then play around with Python integration. First, let me walk you through how actually it works. So if you look at this website from lmql.ai, they have given few examples uh, for the various usage of this LMQL. In this first example, we are using argmax decoding to specify first our input, and then the from clause we are specifying our model, and then this is the where clause where filtering is happening as per your requirement. Now let me explain it in more simplified language. In this example, first look at this argmax. Argmax section is simply a decoding technique. Decoding means that how you are going to translate your text into tokens and provide it to the models in very high level simple words. Now what we are doing here is we are providing it this text within these three quotes starting and ending here and then as you can see this is in the question answer format so Q A Q A and then at the end we are enclosing it in the brackets for the LLM to replace it with the variable. Now we are saying it to the LLM that a list of good dad jokes A indicates the punchline and A means this and this. So we have given this prompt to LLM as an example and then we are asking it a question and answer. Now we are using this OpenAI Tech Da Vinci 003 model. Now the worst thing about this is that you need an OpenAI API key and in most of the cases you won't be able to use it unfortunately because your quota might have exceeded and they would twist you to pay $20 per month which I would highly suggest you not do it because I'm not really a big fan of this paying for this model because you can easily use uh, the open source free models like Llama and there are various other options. So you can replace, the good thing about LMQL is that you can replace it with self-hosted Llama or any other models. Anyway, uh, in this video, we are just looking at the syntax, so I'm not worrying about this. And if you want to even try it, you can it, uh, play it in, uh, open it in Playground, but again, you would need an OpenAI API key. Okay, no worries. So, in the where clause, after specifying the model, we are curtailing our length of the joke and then we are giving it a delimiter with the stop set. And you can see that at the end of every question, we have a question mark. And this is a question mark we are telling this LLM through LMQL that stop at question mark and then also stop at punchline after giving the answer. And then we are also telling it the punchline should be greater than one. Now, if you look at the right hand side, this is what LLM received. And then after 
learning from these example this is it has inferred that okay this is the joke and this is the answer now if we look at another chain of thought for example example again we are using zero short caught or chain of thought based on this paper again we are we are specifying some of the question answer and then we are giving it a line by line chain of thought and then specifying the model and then we are controlling the output with where clause so you can see what is happening here is that we are talking and interacting with llm but with a familiar python code and you can filter it you can use your own model and you can modify it as per your own requirement and there are various other example for example if you look at this calculator in this one we are using this calculator function with simply and embedding the whole llm idea with prompt with model and where clause with this python code so it's a py simple familiar python code which is interacting with llm so this is the whole idea behind this lmql that it is sort of a programming language in order for you to enable you to interact with your large language models i hope that you enjoyed it and in the future videos i will be showing you few of the tables where we will be actually running this program locally now before i close this video let me show you how you can install it locally in order to install it locally all you need to do is to do this pip install lmql and you should be good once you have installed it you can use this in your python code by simply importing this lmql and then decorating this lmql query with this function and this is the same syntax we just saw earlier and then you can print it out with as per your own requirement and there are two ways you can run this through this query decorator which they call is lmql as decorated python function within their own documentation and then there is another way of lmql dot run which is which i found bit cryptic uh, which is this which where you just put it as a query and then you can use it as an async one but i have found out that this lm called lmql dot query is more descriptive and easy to use but it is your own preference i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you